Welcome to another Inventor video tutorial, uh, professional version 2014. I will do the user wish 7, which I did before in the other programs. In Inventor there is a nice little command which is called emboss and I will use this one for the effect. So let's start as usual with a sketch and I will do it on that plane. So I need a little sketch which, which looks something like this. This should be a center line and then I need some dimensions and if you notice with the center line you got here different dimensioning. This should be 50. This should be, no not 50 but 100 sorry. This should be 200. That one is 130. The complete length is 310. This is 50, that's 52, and this one is 20, and that one is 70. I finished the sketch, make a revolve, this is my first body. I would change the view style to shade it with edges so I can see the edges more clearly. Okay, I need a second body. And this is a sketch on the XZ plane in this case. It's a circle. Diameter is 1 for 0. Finish the sketch makes an extrude. This one is 210. Sorry, <laughs> I was too quick. Of course I need a new body. So I got two solid bodies right now. Solid one, solid two. Then I need another sketch plane which is tangent to this body. So this could be yeah, parallel to that plane, so select it here, click on plane and touch the face and you will get, you see, a tangent plane to this body. That's nice. So I want to have a sketch on that plane. Maybe slice the graphics. I need some circles. One with diameter four six zero, and this one has to be three eight zero, three eight zero. Okay, and another one with four hundred diameter. I need some lines. One which goes up. And one right there. This should come on. Should get a dimension of 210. And the 
distance between that point and that point should be pi multiplied by 70 divided by 2. And I need some more lines. Maybe right here. And another one maybe like this. Dimension between these two should be the distance is 40. And the distance between this point and that line is 20. Okay. So this should be aligned to that. This one should be aligned to that point here. Move it a little bit down. Move this a little bit down. Okay, now we'll trim. Of course, I will lose some dimensions and constraints. That's kind of odd, but I can't help it. This should go away. This should, sorry. This should go away. These, 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 and this one, this one, these two. And that one. Yeah. I need some fillets with 20. One in here, one there, one over there. I want to fill it with 60. Okay. So. What did I lose? I got this one, I got that one. Yeah, I think I lost not too many. Let's check this out. Yeah, but I lost a dimension right here. Okay, and give this a dimension of let me check, it should be pi multiplied with 70. That's amazing. So these two should be concentric, that one and that one. It's concentric, okay. Let's check it out. I can move this, okay. I need a dimension here, which is 35. Another one over here, which is 35 too. I think I lost the distance. 210. Oh, and that's almost constrained. Let's check this one out. Okay. No. Why? Oh, yeah. So, this point and that point should be aligned. Still something wrong? Yeah, this one. Let's remove that one because this point should be right over here. So this point is aligned with that point. Well, 
let me check this dimension it's yeah it's okay finish the sketch and then you could use this emboss command wrap it to a face make it 40 make it deboss not emboss but deboss remove engrave from face and the face i want to wrap it to is this one and okay yeah that's nice so let's try if i can yeah of course i can hide this if i can mirror this one because for example in nx it's not possible so i try to mirror it so i go for mirror which features i want to f mirror this feature on that plane and okay nice it works so I still got two solid bodies then i want to remove this one no i don't have to remove it i just have to unite them so i can combine these two bodies so i can combine this body to that body and okay what's missing yeah still a hole is missing so i go for a hole and make it concentric on that plane with that reference and the diameter should be let me check i think 70 and it should go through all yes and should be yeah and okay and i'm done so this went really well and it was quick it went as really very nice program so hope you enjoyed it see you next time